So it's the end of the school year. Officially school is out. I know so many of you guys are absolutely ecstatic because the routine's over. There's a little bit of a break. There's a little bit of rest. And we had so many people uh, last week, they were talking about their kids going to Honors Day, and they were so excited because they were bringing A's and B's for their final report cards. But we also know that there's some of you out there that are dealing with kids, your, your children, that weren't able to get good grades. Maybe they didn't make A, B, Honor Roll, and now they're exiting the school year with low self-esteem. So today's Parent Corner is about what do you do when your child isn't like everyone else and making A's and B's. I think one of the things that we have to understand is that the low self-esteem that comes from low grades is something that really does affect your child and can roll into the next school year. So this summertime is your opportunity to work with your child, not just academically, because I think a lot of parents put focus on the academics. like oh, we gotta go get tutoring, we have to work extra hard, but they don't focus on the mental part of building up that self-esteem. A lot of times kids continue in a cycle of getting low grades because they feel like there's no way possible that they could ever get a good grade in school. It's not just about their academic abilities, it's also about how they perceive themselves. So some tips that will help you over this summer while you're trying to build them back up academically is whenever they're working on something that's very difficult for them to achieve, you need to understand that it's in their eyes almost impossible. So any amount of progress you should praise. Once again, any amount of progress, make sure you praise it. If they're having a very hard time getting through something in math but they get one problem right on that page, You've got to go crazy about it, like, oh my gosh, I can't believe how awesome that was. You are just doing so great. Don't do fake praise. Don't go, wow, you're, you're so amazing and smart. You're going to be making straight A's. You're, you're, your child is going to see through that. You need to praise them for where they're at. So, hey, that was awesome. That was great. I'm so proud of you. Focus on cheering them on instead of directing them to, you've got to get an A next school year. You've got to enter school and you've got to do better than you did the last year. They know that. They don't need you to also jump on the bandwagon and beat them up about it. So let's make sure that we're building that self-esteem and building that confidence. Stick to it. That's my second tip. This is going to be a long process. You need to make sure you're sticking to this with your child. Stay focused on what your goals are, and that's building their self-esteem and slowly working on the academics. Maybe your child's not going to go from failing at the end of this school year to making A's at the beginning of next school year, but maybe they're going to go from failing to make, making a C and passing. That's incredible, and you cannot stop praising them for that progress. That's important. Just because you're, your child's not making an A doesn't mean that they're not an awesome student. It just means that they're having some challenges. So guys, take all this information, go out there and make a difference in your child's life.